So my name is Emily Kaufman, and since we've been hearing a lot from the educator's perspective, I'd like to offer a little bit of something from the student's perspective. Um, so starting in the fall of 2018, I took a class at the University of California, Santa Barbara, entitled Social Marketing with Professor Walid Afifi. The objective of the course was to work collaboratively towards making a positive change in our community through the use of social marketing principles. So to give a little background on the structure of the class, um, our class of roughly 80 participants began with an open discussion about social issues in our community. Um, we were asked to take the weekend to think about which issues we were most passionate about with the understanding that we would divide ourselves into groups of three to five students in the next class. So to keep us on a steady path to achieve the course objectives, we were given weekly assignments to be completed as a group and uploaded to a group drive on Google. The assignments required we demonstrate understanding of social scientific theories and frameworks discussed in class using scientific resources whenever relevant. I partnered with four students with the common interest of reducing food waste. As we began our research into articulating the problem, we quickly found that food insecurity being defined as inadequate access to nu nutritious and safe foods and food waste go hand in hand. There is enough food in circulation to keep everyone well fed. The problem is just in the distribution. Um, with this newfound information, we sat around my dining room table and discussed our own experiences with food insecurity and the resources that UCSB offered. Shockingly, even members of my very own group didn't know that we had an on-campus food bank that provided free, nutritious groceries for all students. When it became time to draft a required survey of our audience, we benefited from the unique standpoint of being members of the audience that we were surveying. Our survey measured students' awareness um, of the Associated Student Food Bank as well as their views on its accessibility as well as their views on receiving food from the food bank and any social stigmas that may exist there. Our findings showed that of the students surveyed, 63% of them had never even used the food bank. Over 70% of the students answered that they would use the food bank, but that the location as well as the operating times were the largest barriers to use, with many students expressing feelings of embarrassment or shame attached with receiving these free groceries. So with this new information, back to my dining room table we went. So over chocolate, um, peanut butter cups, and lemonade, the idea for a temporary food distribution stand using resources from the AS Food Bank was birthed. But with this idea came our first barrier, convincing the AS Food Bank to get on board with our idea and supply us the food. So by the next week, we were meeting with not only the AS Food Bank, but various on-campus organizations to measure potential interest in volunteering for these events. Before each meeting, we would gather and create lists of questions and talking points. By collaborating on this, we are able to think of not only the questions that we may have for our audience, but questions that they may have for us. Um, these pre-meeting discussions were incredibly useful for us to recognize and edit any flaws in our ideas, as well as ensure we were considering the theory that we were learning in lecture. At the end of our fall term, we had a solid project idea for what we referred to as pop-up food banks. To they, these events were to be hosted twice a month in the heavily foot-trafficked areas of campus um, on the one day that the food bank was closed. But all of this was only an idea. Thankfully, Professor Fifi decided for the first time in the history of the course to offer students the opportunity to implement these projects for course credit in the winter term. With this came a whole new added level of collaboration. The new structure of the class was such that all students would attend weekly group meetings to discuss our projects and any barriers that we were facing as well as offer each other insight and resources um, of our own. Within my personal group, only three of the five of us decided to continue on with implementation. Though we had the food bank support um, with implementation came new barriers, such as how would we transport the food across our very large campus? Who would our volunteers be? How would we advertise this event? How would we reduce stigmas related to the food bank? Each week we met and worked with many organizations and university departments um, to overcome these barriers. 
We obtained electronic carts, tables, and a canopy for protection from the elements from the athletics program on campus. Um, I conducted trainings on food bank procedures to our volunteers, which were gathered from UCSB's Zero Food Waste Committee, as well as an on-campus service fraternity, Alpha Phi Omega. We developed info, infographics and signs emphasizing the correlation between food waste and insecurity, and advertising materials were distributed through both department emails as well as social media platforms. Every step of the way, we were um, both assisted and supported by our peers in the larger group meetings. When we ran low on volunteers and were in danger of canceling one of our events, they stepped forward to help. From their experiences, we learned how to work with churches, school districts, and community centers, and many, many more. By drawing on our collective strengths, all of our projects came out the better for it. In reflecting on the year-long course and trying to pick out any cons from this experience, I fell a little short. And this isn't because the course was perfect, but rather because of Professor Afifi's willingness and eagerness to collaborate with us. He consistently checked in with us on ways to improve the course and our environment. He created a space where we felt comfortable voicing our needs in real time. If you asked me five months ago about flaws with the class, I probably would have said something about my group mates pulling unequal weight and relying on me to remind them of their tasks. However, with a little distance from the experience, I now believe that this served as an invaluable lesson on leadership. Through all of these varied types of collaboration, we not only learned and applied social scientific theory, but learned how to organize and structure meetings, how to put on a successful event, how to communicate with different audience and groups, and this is just to name a few. The most important aspect of this course was that it created a risk-free opportunity to nurture and explore our strengths, as well as to see how few people it takes to produce change. Overall, we increased access to um, free textbook resources. We developed social mentorship programs for at-risk youth in the community. We created educational materials on college readiness for first-generation college students. And in the case of my own project, um, provided groceries for nearly 400 students, registering over 200 of them for the very first time with the on-campus food bank. This is not the type of education that you can Google, and this was by far the most impactful experience of my college ex education. Thank you so much.